Hey there, I'm Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So this is going to be a short video, but yet very helpful and informative. So let me give you a quick overview of what we'll be seeing in this video. So in this video, we are going to see how we can compare dates. So suppose, let me give you a short use case or a simple use case about this. So suppose you have an Excel file with all the data and you want to see if that date is smaller than the current date or the date which you want, you can like take any date. And if you want to check if that is smaller or bigger now in date, how it can be smaller or bigger. So suppose considering today's date, it is 16 September. So I want to see if the Excel file date is 15 September or before that. So how can I do that? So we are going to see that in UI path. So let's get started. Now, this is the pre-built workflow, but let me just minimize that and let me first show you which package we will be requiring for it. So there is one pre-built, not pre-built, but there is an activity itself called compare date. Okay, so how you can use this activity. So this activity comes under the package. This one workflow manager activity. So what you need to do is go to all packages workflow manager activities and you need to install that so once you install that you will have this compare date activity over here now what i have done is i have dragged a sequence in that i have taken two variables date one and date two now the data type is string itself i have not converted into uh, date format or date data type so what i'm doing is i'm assigning the value 15 september 2020 and 16 September 2020. So now you can change the date format if you want. Whatever is your requirement, you can do that using convert date time function. But here we are just directly taking this as the input. So now what I want to see is whether the date one is smaller than date two or not. So what I am going to do is in the left side I am going to see date one so what you have to do is you have to drag after you have assigned to the variables you have to drag the compare date activity now it requires three inputs uh two inputs left date right date and the result is stored in the result variable so now to specify the left date you need to specify c date and in bracket you need to pass your date or the variable so here i'm passing date one then i'm storing the result in my result variable and then i'm using the right one to compare the date over here. So again, C date and date two. Now what I'm doing is I'm writing the result using right line. So here we are going to get the result. So now let's run the workflow and see what output we are getting. Okay, so it is executing. So you can see minus one that means my date one is smaller than date two so as you can see now let me change this so uh, suppose if we have an if condition over here let's track this here we have if result equal to one that means the date one is bigger if not then it is smaller and what we are going to do is we are going to use a right line and here we are going to write date one is bigger. Let me just copy that, paste it over here, and it is going to be smaller. Okay, so now let's run. And 15 September, so we should see date one is smaller. Mm -hmm. So you can see date one is smaller. So now I'm going to change this. To maybe 20 so now we should see date one has bigger you can see date one is bigger so this is so here you see there was a simple activity so now suppose if you would have an excel file so what you could do is you could use a for each row activity in that the data from excel you would keep it in left or right wherever you want to and you will take that result so if result is equals to one or minus one and whatever operations you want to perform maybe you want to 
change some other field depending upon the date comparison or anything you can use that so here we saw one simple activity compare date which can help us to compare the dates easily and in one single step thank you for watching the complete video i think this video was very short but yeah it was very helpful and it can be used in many different use cases thank you for watching the complete video and please subscribe to my channel to learn something new every day and these are the list of topics as you can already see on my screen which you will be seeing on my channel and there are many more coming soon thank you